What's going on, y'all? Look, man, the single mother's Mondays, man. Hey, look, in case you didn't know, I am D Oaks, okay? You know, and I'm here, man, to empower single mothers, man, like no other, man. You know, we need information, y'all. We need the information, you know, to uh, translate it into, uh, you know, power, y'all. So, um, I definitely want to share some information with my single mothers, man, on this part, too. So, check it out, ladies. Man, look here. Resources, y'all. Resources, man. You know, it's something I really, really, you know, urge single mothers, you know, to focus on during this period, man. Um, because a lot of us, man, you know, and a lot of times our resources is we're, we're getting the resources um, mixed up with who makes us comfortable, you know, so it'd be our mothers, you know, our fathers, you know, as they call it, support systems, brother, sister, you know, best friend. Listen to me, man. You're a single parent single mother that is you know to be in particular you have to be very strategic on number one how to create the best opportunity for your child secondly how to empower your family and build wealth why so your child isn't repeating this same cycle, okay? Your child isn't reliving this 10, 20 years from now. So, this is why resources is key. Now, in most cases, I'm not going to say all cases, but most cases, your mother, your father, brother, sister, all, all the people that make you feel comfortable, they're great. You got to love them. But, come on, if it was that great, you wouldn't find yourself in the struggle that you're in. So, you have to open up your mind and understand resources are out there. And this is where you need to start, in your community, okay? Start digging for the information in your community. Who are the leaders in your community who are the resources you need to connect with you need to make your resources in your community who's running that spot let me tell you something man in case you didn't never thought about this your your community you know that tax bracket where you're living in it's not just magically happening oh somebody's running your community understand you need to find out who those individuals are. So do your research. You know, who's the council person? Who's, who's running uh, uh, the school administration? You know, who's the lead judge in the county? Who, who's, who's operating this thing? Okay? Who, who's the chief of police? You know, don't go hollering about police when something happens that it involves your child. Go find out this information. Who is moving the pieces in your community? The board of education. Who is that? Who's running the board in your community? You know, who's responsible for everything, y'all, from top to bottom, man? Eh? The cleaner, the cleaner services, you know how everything operates. These are your resources, but you, we're not using them because we're tapped in with our cousin, our best friend, the ones who make us feel comfortable. I'm here to let you know once again, comfort do not mean success. Comfort does not mean it's right. Comfort don't even mean love so look 
if you want if you really love your kid how you walk around mommy love you mommy love you baby all of that right there if you really love your child you gonna make sure and I do mean make sure that you don't pass down this pain this poverty this struggle to your child so open up your mind oh look all you gotta do is hit a couple buttons on your phone Open up your notepad, get a notepad, get organized, start writing this down. Resources, everything you're involved in, your workplace, okay? Who's setting the rules and regulations with this? Who's doing this? Who's making these decisions at the end of the day? Then you look into who's reachable. Okay, who is reachable? There's all emails and phone numbers attached to all these individuals when you go online and do your research. But who's reachable on their team? Okay, once you find out who's reachable on their team, that's your in. You start communicating with that individual. You start voicing your your concerns, your questions, I promise you, you're going to start to get answers, okay? In between you growing the dialogue, you got to understand something very important is taking place. Those officials, those head honchos, whatever we want to call them, they're getting familiar with your last name, with who you are. Now, this is what this does. This also gets them familiar with your child so now your child is just in isn't any child that's in the system that's in that community your child is somewhat viewed as an asset why because they understand your child is one that has support your child is one that mother is involved who mother asks questions whose mother needs to know who's who who's trying to figure out what's what so you gain that respect you put that respect on your name on your family name and i'm gonna tell you something that goes long ways and listen we can know all we want to know we could do all we want to do but let me tell you something. You have to have resources. You have to have people. You have to have things that you're capable of tapping into. And guess what? Even more importantly, you got to know how and when to use them resources. Now, single mothers, I can definitely go more in depth with you all about resources, how to use the local resources to turn those in to city, you know, to national, to international, you know. And if you want to reach out to me to go in depth on this, I'm going to put that link in the description. But I'm going to tell y'all, it's not about the ones that's making you feel comfortable for you to get yourself in a better situation. It's about you tapping into your resources that are available to you. You just don't know I'm going to see y'all next week on part three. That's Single Mother's Mondays. Love single parents always. This is D.O. Joe.